This guy coming up here, I don't know him, I just met him this evening. He works at Saturday Night Live, where Jason Sudeikis is from. This is the guy who writes for him. Please welcome, I don't know if I'm getting the last name properly correct or not, but it's Colin Jost. Yes, I got it, please. Give it up for this guy. Colin Jost, Saturday Night Live. A legend. There he is. There's the guy. Right there. Congratulations for getting my name right. Thank you. Or, hold your applause. Hold your applause. No, give it now. Hold it. Uh, I just wanted to, before I get started or everything, you know, I'm sure everyone knows this, but uh, last night, Barry Bonds broke Hank Aaron's home run record. Sort of. And uh, number 50, uh, 756. And I know that there's a lot of controversy surrounding this. I know a lot of people have different opinions. Um, and this isn't a particularly popular stance. But I would like to say, for the record, that I definitely think Hank Aaron used steroids. <laughs> and it's no big deal. You know, I don't have evidence to prove this. But I think we should just you know, move on. They should arrest Hank Aaron. And then that's it. And I think we should just leave it to a jury of his peers. And, you know, if they say he used steroids, then yes, we should kill Hank Aaron. And then we should just move on. That's the end of, that's as far as I would take it. I would write disgrace on Hank Aaron's grave and I would end the discussion. I would move on. And I know a lot of people would say, oh, you know, Hank Aaron should pay money to every single fan of baseball. And you know, that's just, I mean, I agree. I just, how much money? And you would say, you know, $10,000 for each fan. And I would say, yeah, that's about right. That's what they should do. But who's to say? I mean, that's, we all agree, yes. Um, but I just think, that's my opinion. I, I'm open to discussion. I just think we can all agree. Minimally, we should kill Hank Aaron. This, we'll go through with the $10,000 which everyone will get, and then that's it. And then we'll just move on. It's a great thing. Hank Aaron, legend, uh, disgrace. Uh, I am from Staten Island originally, and, um, wow. <laughs> yeah. um, and uh, I like to keep up on uh, some current events from Staten Island, and I read the Staten Island Advance newspaper, which I also used to work for. Um, and I just, uh, this is a clipping from yesterday's Staten Island Advance. I don't know if you guys have all read the Staten Island Advance from yesterday. Um, and it's about, uh, there was a teenager who's accused of attempted murder. He was arrested for attempted murder, um, which is not that funny. Not that funny. Um, and there's a very revealing piece of information in the article, uh, and it's this. He's known in his neighborhood as Murder Mike. <laughs> So the guy on trial for attempted murder, you know him as Murder Mike. Uh, but that's not even my favorite part of the story. This was my favorite part. Uh, he sprayed bullets everywhere, but somehow missed his intended target. So Murder Mike is really bad at murder. <laughs> and I feel like at that point, you just get a new nickname, because it's only holding you back. Uh, I was driving also the other day with my grandfather in New Jersey, and um, we pulled onto uh, the turnpike, and it was a huge traffic jam. And the first thing my grandfather says is, why don't we just let more immigrants into the country? <laughs> first of all, I love that my grandfather's biggest worry is that illegal immigrants are buying cars and driving them up and down the highways in New Jersey. Second of all, my grandfather is a first-generation American. <laughs> he immigrated to this country like 60 years ago. And I realized that immigrants hate other immigrants. <laughs> It's like America is this awesome roller coaster, and there's this huge line, and everyone's waiting in it. And you get on, and you ride the roller coaster, and it's pretty awesome. And it finishes, and you're like, okay, shut it down. <laughs> and they're like, no, wait, there's all these other people, and they're waiting. No, no, that's okay, just, just shut it down. But, but there's all these extra food and jobs. Millions more could ride this roller coaster. Nope, just me and my friends. 
then I want it destroyed. Um, I was uh, leaving work the other day with a coworker of mine. I don't know if you've had experienced this. And um, we're, we're friendly, but we're kind of work friends. And we got out of the elevator, and uh, we said goodbye, and he went this way, and I went this way. Uh, and then I realized I was actually going the same way he was going. So uh, instead of being a normal human being and saying, hey, wait up, I'll come walk with you this way, I like followed him like 10 steps behind him. And I was actually crouching like this. Like I'm sneaking up on someone in a jungle. And uh, I saw him and he stopped and he was moving to turn around like he had forgotten something. Uh, and so I instinctively hide. <laughs> I, I am that socially awkward. I, and it's lobby, it's Rockefeller Center, and it's lobby, and there are these plants, and I hid behind a plant. I like crouch down. And I know we see this in movies a lot, people hiding behind plants. A plant is the worst thing to hide behind. Everyone can see straight through a plant. So he comes back, and I'm literally like this, crouched behind a plant, thinking he won't see me. He does. And he's like, oh, hey, Colin, is everything okay? And I thought this was pretty quick thinking. I'm crouched, and then I kind of just like lean nonchalantly, and I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm just waiting for a friend. My friend told me to wait by this plant, and he told me to crouch down so he could recognize me. And I think that's the lesson to be learned, is that whenever you're caught doing something crazy, you make that person feel like a weirdo. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, my, uh, I was, uh, I don't know if you guys have been watching, but uh, it's been Shark Week on the Discovery Channel. Uh, I also don't know if you realize this, but every show on the Discovery Channel is already about sharks. <laughs> Uh, sharks have been around for hundreds of millions of years, yet somehow they're still our greatest discovery. And this is completely true, I swear to God. Scientists have found a cure for cancer. And they keep calling up the Discovery Channel. And the Discovery Channel's like, hello? Oh my God, what's that? You cured cancer with sharks? Oh, not with sharks. No, no, that's, that's really great about the cancer. So this doesn't involve sharks at all. Okay. I'm gonna have to go ahead and give you a call back. No, that's okay, I don't need your phone number. Okay, okay, sharks. Um, oh, that's it, thank you very much. Best ending ever, best ending ever. Sound joke.